Hey everyone, this is Dan with TopSurfer.com. I'm going to show you how to uh, fill out a TopSurfer solo ad. Now if you haven't bought a solo ad from TopSurfer yet, and you're watching this video on YouTube.com, you can look at the description and we'll have the link to where you go to buy a TopSurfer solo ad. TopSurfer solo ad is an email blast that goes out to all of our active members. Now when you purchase a solo ad, you'll be given a page like this and you're asked to give us the subject line of the email, the link that you want uh, people to click on. Uh, you'll provide us a, an email back, uh, an email address where we can email you back and tell you that the email's gone out. You'll also pick the date and time that you want to use here. Uh, we have certain time slots that you can pick from. Uh, and then down here is the email body and this is really what I want to show you. Uh, I'm just going to run through all the different uh, buttons right here real quick and kind of show you some of the, the real cool features mostly. Uh, first of all, if you've typed something up and you're, you just want to wipe it all clean, you click this new document. And if you mess up and you accidentally click that and you had a whole document typed up, there's a nice little undo and redo button over here. So I could just click undo and it'll just put it right back. So I'm actually going to type something up here. And let's uh, show you a few of the buttons. For example, I can make it bold. I can make it italics. I can underline it. I can strike through it or I can undo these as well. And let's uh, go through here and we'll choose a, a different font, choose a bigger size. Let's make it centered. So you can see it's really simple to use. You basically just select it. It's pretty much like Word. You select it, you choose what uh, what formatting you want to add to it. Uh, we have indents, we have uh, uh, bullet lists and numbered lists and things like that. I just always remember that there is this undo feature here where you can just undo what you've done if you didn't like what you did. Or you can also start from scratch and clear everything and go there. And uh, I'm going to show you these two here in just a second. Uh, let me skip over to this one here where we can change the font color. We can change kind of a highlight color for it. Uh, this is good if you want to make something stand out. Uh, if you want to separate something into columns, you want to add some columns, we can, uh, we can do that. I'll just start a new line here. And you can choose how many columns and how many rows you want to do. Uh, this basically uh, the average user is not going to use this, but we wanted to have this there just in case somebody did want to separate things into columns. And so say we want to just have a new, just a horizontal line here. There's that. And like I said, I can just hit the undo button and that undo, undoes it. I say I want to remove all the formatting that's on this. And that removed all the formatting. Um, if you don't like the size of this box to edit, you can click on this and that takes everything to full screen. As you can see, I've got things, uh, my, my actual screen is bigger than what I'm filming here so everything went off the screen that you can't see it so we'll just bring everything back and I, all I did is just re-click that button again. Uh, we can re reveal hidden invisible characters say you know if you've got too many returns in there and you want to see what's going on you can do that you can also show different blocks what are what are in place there and you can see that there are some hidden blocks that were there. Um, but here's one of the cool things which is insert template I'm going to skip that really quick so I can show you uh, that in more detail here in just a second. But say I want to bring some attention to the user. I want them to uh, notice this email a little bit more. I'm going to insert their name here. Now this isn't actually you know, their name. That's just a placeholder. So when the email goes out to the thousands and thousands of members, uh, it'll actually, as it sends it, it'll get that person's name and it'll insert it right there. And you can also use that up in the subject line. So if I just copy that, go up to the subject line and I can put that in there as well and so that when the email goes out it'll have their name or username depending on if they've given us a name if they haven't given us a name we insert their username so it'll it'll insert that uh, in the email for you and that is a great thing to do it personalizes the email uh, makes them actually notice it more because they all of a sudden see their name there and especially if you make it stand out a little bit uh, we could even get rid of that comma we can center it, uh, you know, do different things like that. And also uh, to add a link to the email, you would basically click here or you would undo the link by clicking there. Pretty simple. That will basically put your link from up here into the email here. Okay, now let's show you how to really customize this email up nice. Uh, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to clear everything off this email because I'm going to add a template. And really when you add a template, you kind of want to start off new. 
So I'm going to just clear everything off. I'm going to go up here to Insert Template. You can see uh, we've got about 20 right now. We'll be adding more as we go. Uh, template is a way to basically color the background of the email and also to kind of define some boxes in there. And so I'm going to use this soft blue one. Let me just show you some of the different templates that I've got here. Uh, those are just kind of basic ones with the basic background colors. But then we go a little bit more uh, detailed. Now, certain email programs like gmail.com, if somebody is actually on gmail.com, they haven't opened up the email with another email editor, email program or anything like that. They're actually on the website. They won't really see all the formatting, uh, the shadowing. They'll see the, the colors, but they won't see all the shadowing in there. Uh, Gmail goes through and removes any stylizing on the email, really. And so everybody's not going to see this exactly the way you sent it, just so you're there, so you're aware of that. Um, but uh, the average person we'll probably see it the right way. So let's choose uh, this one here. It's got two columns and uh, basically you know a blue background and a white main area. And we've added most most of the areas are going to be white uh, just because of the images have white backgrounds on them and we don't want them to, to conflict with the background that's in the in this area. So as I add that to this, you'll see that there's some dotted lines around that. That's just showing you that these are boxes, and it's not really uh, it's it's not really going to be that way. So if I hit the preview button here, you can see what it should look like. So let's add uh, let's change some things so I can just select this and I can say stuff here. So you can put a list of things here that you want to talk about. Um, you can you know of course change everything here. You can ch change uh, or whatever you want. Um, you can also add images and this is another new thing that we've uh, done is you can now add as many images as you want. Uh, we used to restrict you to just one, now you can add as many as you want. However, you can only upload up to 12 of your own images. Uh, we have a whole bunch of other images that you can use as you can see. We're going to add more and more as we go as well. And so there's just a whole bunch of really great images here. And uh, let's uh, let's use this one right here. And then I'm going to come down to the bottom of the box and I'm going to use the, the bald guy that we just saw. Bring this back down center. Go down and find this bald guy here. Add him to it. Okay, then once you come here you'll need to check each one of these boxes um, that you have looked at everything. Everything looks okay. Uh, this is the subject that you want to send. It's exactly the way you want it. This is the time and date that you want to send it. Uh, times and dates are a uh, course proximate uh, that your email address is, a, is correct this of course is just a fake email address on my example here um, this one is not clickable and as a matter of fact if I click it it gives me instructions as to what I need to do and I'll show you that really quick here all you need to do is you open up the email or the uh, the link that's in the email and it will eventually show you a button here so you just click the button and uh, that checks the box for you if you have trouble with that, let us know. Here's also some video instruction on how to do that. So here's the email body. Here's how it's going to look. Uh, I then just need to go down to the bottom and click Yes, Proceed. And now it's been submitted. Uh, if you have any questions at all, you can go down to the bottom of most of our pages here and click on the Contact Us link, and that will take you to our contact page, and you can just submit a ticket. I'm really quick about responding to you. Uh, let me know if you have any questions. Thanks.